What is going on everybody? Spiker Zenith here. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, run a Minecraft server for people that are not on your local network. Uh, like your friends or, you know, somebody that might live next door or live far away and you want to connect to the same server uh, that you have created for yourself. You can mod it. Uh, I'm not going to get into that in this video. I'm just going to show you how to set up the server basically. It's a Java server. So you have the Windows version of Minecraft. You log in, username, password. Uh, you put your IP address in that you're trying to join and bam, you're in. Uh, basically, this is going to be uh, a way to start it, uh, you know, not in a local setting. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to get your local IP address. We need to do that first. Uh, step one, get your local IP address. To do that, click your start menu, CMD. Get yourself, uh, you know, open up a notepad document or get a piece of paper. Write this down. Uh, when you type in CMD, it brings up this command prompt. Now you're going to type in IP config. This is the easiest way to do it. Instead of going, you could technically go into here, right click, open network settings, but this is the easiest way. IP config, and you're going to look for your IPv4 address, Internet Protocol version 4 address. Uh, we are 1.9. Now, it is worth mentioning that every time you restart your computer, turn it off, unplug it, and move it, your IP address may change. So you may have to uh, repeat this step, uh, the steps with your router anyway, uh, every time. I would show you how to set up a static IP address. However, if you use your computer like a laptop in more than one place, and you change your IP address frequently, you're not going to want to do that. So I'm not going to show you how to do that. If you want to make your IP address uh, what's known as static, uh, you can go in uh, to change your IP address to static using IPv4. Uh, but anyway, I'm not going to change that. So I'm just going to leave it as uh, the, the dynamic IP address where it changes. Uh, 1.9 is what I'm looking for here. So I'm writing that down, 1.9. And I'm actually going to store that in a notepad document. Yeah. Uh, 192.168.1.9. Bam. So I have that wrote down. Uh, you really don't need to know any of uh, this other information with the exception of your default gateway. Now, in most home networks, but not all, this is going to be your wireless or wired router. The router that allows you to access the internet. If you don't have a router, you don't need to worry about this step at all. But you're going to want to write this uh, gateway information down as well. 192.168.1.1. That's what mine is in this example. I'm going to write that as well. Not that I don't know it, but... So anyway, you've got those two numbers written down. IPv4 and default gateway. Label those. Uh, this is not my uh, MAC address. I've actually changed it. No worries. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to go here and close this out. Now, the next thing we need to know is our external IP address. That's going to be the IP address of our computer. Now, I'm going to edit this. You're not going to see it. Uh, you're going to go into ipchicken.com right up here. And this is uh, the IP address that we're going to enter. Um, I have actually... Uh, blacked out most of this so you're not going to know which one really is mine no problem i blocked all this out you can't see that either uh but anyway we're going to keep moving on here uh make sure this is still going it is uh so we're gonna get our ip address we're gonna uh, copy that so write it down as well and bam i've copied mine bam oh don't don't do that don't hit control s on that so now we got our ip address that's three most important numbers we need our internal ip external ip and our gateway now, the gateway address, uh, we're going to actually, first thing before we even go into that, let's go address the Windows Firewall. Windows Firewall. Now, you should have this enabled, and it doesn't really hurt anything, and it will eventually ask you to, like, open it. But it's best just to go in here and uh, change your firewall settings. So, we're going to go into, uh, right now, we are connected to a private network, because we are connected wired. Uh, and that's going to tell you all that. Now, we're going to go into, uh, where is it, advanced settings, is that where it's at? Uh, yep, there it is. We're going to go to advanced settings, uh, inbound and outbound rules. So what this is going to do is we're going to make a new rule. So we're going to go ahead and click on this. Uh, rule that connects TCP or UDP port. We're going to open up a port. We're going to hit next. Uh, this is going to be both TCP and UDP. So we're going to need to uh, open up this port on here. It's going to be 25565. 25565. Now, you don't need to worry too much about the outbound rules because, you know, you're connecting to... Somebody's connecting to you. You're not connecting to somebody else. So, 25565, we're going to open that up. And we're going to allow the connection. And this is going to be... Applies it to corporate domain. I just leave, leave all these checked. Don't have to screw around with it. Now, public is going to be like a public network. Uh, like, if you if you go on to, like, a McDonald's Wi-Fi and it's, it's a public network and you select public. Now... It's also worth mentioning uh, right now that if you're on Wi-Fi, you may not want to start a server. You may not have the connection uh, throughput to handle that. Even with, you know, N or, you know, any of his higher access point uh, speeds, you may not be able to do this with a wireless connection. 
So anyway, I'm going to leave uh, all these. I'm going to get rid of the public one. I don't care about that. Uh, but I'm going to leave domain and private on. Click next. And we're going to make it Minecraft. Uh, this was TCP. But we need to open the UDP as well. So bam. Now we're going to go to new rule again. We have to do the UDP as well. So we're going to go to port. Uh, UDP. And it was 25565. Hit next. We're going to allow connection. And again, no public. We're going to do Minecraft UDP. User defined protocol and transmission control protocol. Okay, so we have our inbound rule set. That mean, uh, means computers that are, you know, trying to connect to us can connect to us. No problem at all. Now, outbound rules, uh, you don't have to mess with that too much at all, really. Because uh, this is going to be the, you know, think programs that are trying to access uh, other servers outside of your, like going from your computer outside. Uh, it's not really anything you have to worry too much about for this. So we've done the Windows firewall. We don't need to worry about that. Exit that out. Now we need to go into your router. Now, we're actually going to, uh, you're going to open up a, uh, either Chrome or, you know, Internet Explorer or Edge. Uh, and you're just going to type that IP address that you marked in here, the 192.168, uh, whatever it would be. Usually it's 192.168, 192.168.11. And we're going to put in our password. Uh, okay, this is... Now, if you need, don't know your password for your router, it may be on the router itself, the box that actually you plug all your wires into. Or you may have to just Google it, figure out what router you have. Like it's a, like this thing is at WNR2000 version 5. So just type WNR2000 uh, uh, into Google and look for the default administrative password. Unless someone has changed it, it'll be the default password. This is not something I can help you with. So putting a bunch of mes messages down in the uh, comment section, I, I can't help you get these guys. You're going to have to find these yourself. Basically, you need access to your router. Uh, so when you get into here, this particular router, it's you got to kind of dig a little bit. you got to go into advanced. We're looking for the uh, port forwarding is what you're looking for. So you're going to go into probably setup for security, I would think. Nope, security. Nope, administration. Nope, advanced setup. Yep, there it is. Port forwarding or port triggering. Uh, it's the same thing. Uh, again, I'm going to block off all this stuff so you can't see it. Port forwarding, port triggering. So what we're going to do here is just a bunch of other stuff or other stuff. Uh, but anyway, we're going to look here. Uh, we're going to set up a uh, port forward. And we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to add a service here. Add a custom service. That's what I have to do on this particular router. It'll be different on your router at home. It's going to look a lot different. It's not something I can really help you with. You just need to look up how to do it. So we need to do UDP and TCP on that 25565. 25565. Uh, TCP and UDP. That's going to be the service. Uh, well, I'm going to just do mine. Minecraft is the service name. CRAFT server and 25565. That's going to be our external port. You need to actually make that the same as your internal port. See, this is internal port all the way over here, external and internal. Now, we're, we're trying to basically what this is, is we're like, okay, external port connecting 25565. Uh, internal port is also 25565. So that's what we're going to set up here. It's just easier this way. Just do it this way. It's easier. So. We have an internal IP address that we need to connect to. We need to write our computer's IP address, which was dot nine. So we're going to go ahead and do that and hit apply. All right. Once you've applied that, we're going to do a thing. Please wait a moment. It's going to do its thing and load it up. Uh, so anyway, we're just going to exit out of that now that we've got that uh, IP address uh, opened up along with the port. That's opened up to the world. So now we, um, now we can just download and set up our server. Uh, the second step that you're going to need to do here, uh, along with getting these IP addresses and getting all of the uh, ports open, and the firewall opened up and all that, is we're going to download the Minecraft server uh, executable. So we're going to go to uh, this URL right here, pop it up here, drag it over. This is it right here, minecraft.net, ENUS, download server. Now you're going to go ahead and download uh, this guy right here, this jar file. It's a Java runtime environment file. It's going to be server.jar. Uh, and then you're just going to, you're going to keep it because whatever. Uh, then you can go onto here. You can show in folder. And it'll pop it up here. Boop. Now we're going to go into our uh, downloads here. Left click, go to downloads, why not? Uh, now we've got our server.jar right here. This is the one we just downloaded. So we're going to go ahead and uh, create a folder uh, in our C drive right here. We're going to right click in here and go into your drive C and do this. You don't want to do this anywhere else on your hard drive because uh, then it'll make it universal for all of us. Then it'll always work. Minecraft server, you can name it that or yeah. You can just leave it like that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go back to this. Uh, we're going to copy it. So we're going to right click, copy, uh, control and C if you like. That's what I prefer to do. 
Uh, and then you're going to go into your Minecraft server folder you just made and then right click and paste. Now we've got this guy in here. The next thing we're going to need to do is uh, make sure we have Java runtime environment installed. Now you probably, you may not even have it installed. It's very, very possible. So you're going to go to this website right here, java.com slash en slash download slash Windows 10. And you're going to agree and start free download. Make sure you look through here. Make sure it's what you want. Uh, it's not going to be supported, uh, I believe, anymore. Uh, so not support plugins, therefore uh, will not run Java. But we don't need it to work with Microsoft Edge. We don't care about it at all. We're going to agree and start the download, allow it to download. Uh, then you're just going to go through the uh, setup process, which I mean, I've already done. Uh, you're just going to run and install Java. So you're just going to install it. It's going to say I already have it. So you're going to let that go through, let it install, let it do its thing. Uh, the next thing we're going to do here is create a batch file to uh, run this bad boy with the GUI or graphical user interface. Okay, so what you're going to do is when you get to this folder, you're going to right click in here, go to new, and go to text document and do like a uh, start. Just name it start. I can even write type. Uh, and click on your start.txt. Uh, and what you're going to do is you're going to go in here into the Minecraft uh, download server. Uh, you're going to oh, get this jar file information right here. It's in blue. You're going to right click on this. Click copy. You don't need the no GUI. That's graphical user interface. I like having that. You might like it too. Now you're going to have a command prompt window open. that will show you the same information. But the GUI is just kind of nicer to look at. And it'll also have the command prompt open. So that's just the way it is. Uh, so anyway, we're going to right click on this guy here. Hit copy. Minimize that. Going back into our text document and right click and paste. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to basically uh, create this as a batch file, which is going to basically run a command. That's all it's going to do. It's going to be like opening the command prompt and, and running it in here. And uh, like uh, CD mine and then just tab Minecraft server DIR. And basically be like going into here and typing in uh, server.jar every single time to start this. We don't want to mess with that. That's kind of annoying. We're going to make this a one click solution. We're going to go ahead and uh, space this guy out here. You put two spaces, you can put 100 spaces, it doesn't matter. We're creating a batch file. So what you're going to need to do is uh, we actually just need to send it to this directory. So just like we would in the command prompt, we're going to do cd colon space. And we're just going to go up here and click, right click, copy this bad boy. Okay, so we're just going to copy that. We're going to paste that right there. Uh, what that's going to do is that's going to send, uh, it's going to be like typing all this in. So cdc colon Minecraft server, and then it'll go right to Java and run it. So we're going to go ahead and file, save this, go over here. Uh, now the next thing you need to do, which I've already done, is click your view. And you're going to uh, uh, file extension names, how it's not checked. Yours probably looks like this. You're going to uh, click the file extension names, and you're going to be showing file extensions. That's all you're going to be doing here. Now you're going to right click or left click rather on here, or you can click uh, right click here and uh, click rename. It's way easier. And the dot text, you're going to change that to dot batch dot B-A-T. Yep. And that's all we're going to do. And now I'm going to click on this and wait. Now what happened here is it did shut down, but we have to go into here and accept the E-U-L-A. Microsoft uh, added this, I guess. Uh, so we're going to do changing and treading to true. You're indicating that you are agreeing with the ULA. So what you do is you go into here and you uh, delete the false. T-R-U-E, all capital. Hit file. Hit save just to be safe. Exit it out. And now, when you start your server, dot bat file, it's going to run the server. Now I'm going to show you how to join the server uh, and, and verify that it does work. Uh, now you can see that's loading up. We're going to wait for all that to happen. Shows you the memory usage. That's why I like the uh, GUI. Because if you uh, type no GUI or... Well, whatever it is at the end, whatever the argument is, uh, you're, you're going to not see this memory usage. And I really like to see that. Let it create. This may take a while, depending on what you're doing. Now, you can create a shortcut to this on your desktop. Like, you can send to desktop, uh, create shortcut, and then you'll have a shortcut on your desktop to this. So you don't have to go into here every time to start it. Something fun to note. All right, the uh, server is created. So we're going to start up Minecraft right now. Minecraft app. Now, again, this isn't going to work for the, likely isn't going to work for the Windows 10 version. So we're going to go ahead and uh, hit play here. I'm going to leave this in a window, I think. Give it a minute here. Make sure we're running the right version, which we are. This here, can exit this out. Again, this window is always going to be there, so you just have to minimize it. Don't hit the X or it'll go away forever. We are going to verify that this does, uh, in fact, work by connecting uh, remotely. We're going to hit multiplayer. Uh, you can see that. No, 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 cancel. Uh, first thing you want to do is, I've already tested this, you're going to hit add server. 
Uh, you can just leave his Minecraft server. And if you type in, if you just want to make sure the server itself works and you can join it and everything works okay, type in 127.0.0.1. That is your local address of your computer. Just hit done. It'll pop up. Now you can join it locally. And as you can see in here, I have joined the game. And if I want to kick myself, I can kick. Bam. Done. Kicked. Uh, you can just Google all the uh, commands for this. Like the, the ban and the... What is it? Ban and forgive, I think? I don't know what it is. Uh, pardon. Pardon is what it is. So if I were to ban myself, I would type uh, ban Zenith 1985. And if I wanted to uh, pardon myself, I would pardon myself. Uh, pardon. Pardon. That's really all you need to know right now is how to ban and unban people. If they're banned, they can't join you. They can't do anything about it. Now, the other thing that we need to do is uh, if you're telling your buddy like how to join your server, uh, you're going to give them that external IP address. Uh, in my case, it's a 98 number. So you would hit uh, direct connect here or add server. Your buddy would do this. And mine's this. 30. And you can type in the uh, port here as well. If you really feel like you need to, hit done. And that is going to connect to it uh, remotely. Double click on it. Um, and and that's that's really it. That's all there is to it, guys. Uh, you just give your buddy your uh, IP address, and he will connect to it. And everything will be good. should be able to play together. All right, guys, if you like what you've seen here, uh, if this was helpful to you at all, give me a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.